So, let's see. Uh, would you, Isaku Mizawa, please come forward. Yeah. So there was a, 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 Thank you, Eva. Thank you, everyone. Wow. I am from Japan. My name is Yusaku Maezawa. You can call me MZ, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for coming to this conference today, and uh, thanks for watching live streaming uh, in the internet today. Yeah. Finally, I can say, I can tell you that I choose to go to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, I can say, I'm very glad to be here, and I really excited and really honored, really appreciate to be able to share with, uh, to be share this announcement with you and uh, people all over the world. Uh, before talking about the moon and this project, uh, I'd like to introduce myself a little bit, okay? Yeah. Oh, I cannot speak English very well, so please listen carefully, please. Yeah. Uh, you can see next photo. This is me. I was a skateboarder. And uh, does anyone know where this is? No? This is Santa Monica. Yay! Yeah, I had been here, I had been in Santa Monica, Los Angeles when I was 18 years old. And I was a uh, sk skateboarder. I was so impressed by America, uh, its fashion, music, art, and culture. And of course, nice people like you. Kind, yeah, American people is very kind, uh, yes. And uh, after six months staying here, I returned back to Japan and start, started music. Next photo, please. I played drums for the band. Our band music is so loud, so you don't have to listen to. But I was ex-musician. And after the band, I started my own company. Please. Yes. Uh, my company is founded 20 years ago by me. So this year, my company is 20th anniversary. Woo. Thank you. And uh, finally, we started our private fashion label. Uh, that name is Zozo, Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. And Zozo's slogan is be unique, be equal. Uh, we are all unique. At the same time, we are all equal. Uh, it's important for us. You can check our website, zozo.com, zozo.com, later. Thank you. OK, uh, that's all about me. So let's move talking about the moon and this project, OK? Yeah. Now on to the main topic of the day. Many of you may be wondering, why do I want to go to the moon? What do I want to do there? And most of all, why did I purchase the entire BFR? <laughs> entire BFR, very huge. For me, this project is very meaningful. I thought long and hard about how valuable it would be become the first private passenger to go to the moon. At the same time, I thought about how I can give back to the world and how this can contribute to world peace. This is my lifelong dream. Today, uh, thank you, thank you. Today, I'd like to tell you about my plans. Okay? Ever since 
I was a kid. I have loved the moon. Just storing the moon filled my imagination. It's always there and has continued to inspire humanity. That is why I could not pass up this opportunity to see the moon up close. And at the same time, I did not want to have such a fantastic experience by myself. That would be a little lonely. I don't like being alone. So I want to share these experiences and things with as many people as possible. So that is why I choose to go to the moon. I choose to go to the moon with artists. With artists. From now, I choose to invite artists from around the world on my journey. The first artist I thought of was, do you know, Jean-Michel Basquiat, you know? As you can see, I am wearing a Comedy Garrison t-shirt featuring Jean-Michel Basquiat. He already passed away, he's a New York artist. One day, when I was staring at his painting, I thought, what if Basquiat had gone to space and had seen the moon up close or saw the Earth in full view? What wonderful masterpiece would he have created? Just thinking about it now gets my heart racing. But once I got started, I could not stop thinking about who else. What if Picasso had gone to the moon? Or Andy Warhol? Or Michael Jackson? Or John Lennon? Or Coco Chanel? These are all artists that I adore. But sadly, they are no longer with us. But this is when I thought there are so many artists with us today that I wish would create amazing works of art for humankind, for children of the next generation. And I wished very much that such artists could go to space, see the moon up close, and the earth in full view, and create works that reflect their experience. This is a project that I designed and named Dear Moon. Yeah. I'd like to introduce a detail about Dear Moon. In 2023, as the host, I'd like to invite six to eight artists from around the world to join me on this mission to the moon. These artists will be asked to create something after they return to Earth. And these masterpieces will inspire the dreamer within all of us. Needless to say, we have always been inspired by the moon. Take, for example, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, or Van Gogh's The Starry Night, and the Beatles' Mr. Moonlight. These are countless number of works that have been inspired the moon all around the world. Through the ages, the moon has filled our imagination. And with utmost love and respect for the moon, our planet's constant partner, I named this project Dear Moon. At the moment, I have not decided which artists I'd like to invite, but if possible, I'd like to reach out to top artists that represent our planet from various fields, including painters, sculptors, photographers, musicians, film directors, fashion designers, architects, etc. Luckily, we still have some time before 2023, so I hope to work very closely with the SpaceX team and to research out to each artist personally. By the way, if you should hear from me, please say yes and accept my invitation. Please, please don't say no. Okay. <laughs>